Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our wise biblical wisdom. God's wisdom to help you have a wonderful, prosperous, and joy-filled life. This is Mark Ennis. I'm pastor of the Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield, and I welcome you back. Now, for those of you who might be new, I need to tell you, we always start out and end with a little bit of a song. So please sing along with me. It's a great song. Isn't that a great song? I really like that. Now, I'm going to invite you to read along with me if you know how to read. If you haven't learned yet, well, you will soon. Until then, I invite you to simply listen. It's all about trials and temptations. You know, we all have those. Even the greatest person in the world as trials and temptations. This is what we do about it. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation, such a one as stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one when tempted should say, oh, I'm being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil. He himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by your own desires, being lured and enticed by it. Then, when desire has conceived, it engenders sin, and sin, when it's fully grown, gives birth to death. Do not be de deceived by Beloved brothers and sisters, every generous act of giving with every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave birth to us by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. That is beautiful if you understand it. I hope that you understood that as I read it. Well, what does that mean? Well, there are times when we're tempted to do the wrong thing. Right? You see something really cool, you might be tempted to take it. Or you're having a really, really bad day and you want to feel like you're a big hot shot. You might be tempted to pick on someone else. When a group of kids at school is picking on a person just to feel popular, you might join in and start insulting other people. And you might be saying, oh, God put all these temptations in front of me. No, no, not at all. When you see something you like, the only thing that would tempt you is your own desires, not God. And when you're not feeling good about yourself, it's you who are tempting yourself to insult other people. The best way I know to feel good about yourself is doing good things. 
So if you're not sure what kind of person you are, well, be kind to others. Be kind to your friends, be kind to strangers, be kind to small animals. If your church does programs of feeding hungry people, volunteer, join in. Some of the best times I had in my life were when I was in high school. I was a hospital volunteer. And I did some pretty yucky, dirty work. But you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I really felt good about the work I did. The smiles I got from patients. Nothing can replace that. So, the message today is if you want to have a good life, control your own temptations. Make sure your heart doesn't want stuff. But the first thing that's in your heart and your mind is what can I do for other people today? How can I bring joy to another person's life? What good deed? can I do? That shows that we really do belong to God because we really want to do God's work. No, we are not tempted by things around us unless that temptation is in our hearts. Let's change our minds, change our hearts. And ask ourselves every day, what can I do for God? What can I do for someone else? And you know what? We will find all kinds of opportunities to do good for other people. And something else, too. We will feel very good about ourselves. That we've done good things. In a world that needs more people doing good things things. And that, my friends, is our biblical wise wisdom for today. Thank you for joining. I hope you'll join us again next week. And I hope you'll comment, like, and share when you see this on Facebook or on YouTube. Now, of course, you remember, I know, you remember how we end. We always end with our song. Sing a little bit more with me, please. I like that song. I hope you do too. This is Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church. Thanking you for being here and inviting you to be back next week. Same time, same place. God bless you all.